Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting Clash Bash uh, game. It is uh, Patrick Shaw from Off the Rails TCG once again on the call with my uh, compatriot, uh, Will Knuckles from the Table Pit. Will, how you doing today? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, this has got to be a fast-paced one. We have KO versus Phi uh, coming into this. And we're not we're not going to waste any time. Ko comes out with a red assault and battery. It does look like he beat chest, and I believe they create an agility token when that happens. A strong turn zero play uh, coming up with uh, from Ko creating the agility token. If you have to go first in a clash deck as Ko, this is the perfect turn one, right? Uh, you're presenting a break point. That's still even awkward for a five because of all the two blocks in a sense. Yeah, he just blocked mm -hmm. three cards. Um, he probably just and barely covered that. I think I see one three block snuck on uh, sneaking in under that. Yeah. Uh, so you get your might token, you get your agility. Um, so I'm looking around the board, and this just looks pretty stock standard for what I think of when I think of KO lists and phi lists. Uh, in in you know in clash right now right like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah and we can see kind of the steady upgrade I think uh, with something like beaten trackers and. Uh, uh, knucklehead on ko and the mask of three, three tails. tails yeah it's so good it's such a good equipment for like for if rare, mask and momentum yeah. didn't exist you would you would want this and we have uh nate coming in with turn one for him with a rising resentment coming in for three go again i'm sure we're going to be saying that a lot in this game three go again yeah absolutely i don't know if it's activated ability will matter all that much yeah it's going to be blocked out but uh i mean even even still it's a it's a red three block or threat red three attack draconic and uh it's going to be starting the chain off oh but we don't have the sword swing right afterwards it's rising resentment into flame call awakening it is, it is, and uh, Rising is in fact a red card at the three powers, so Flame Call is activated. They're uh, fetching a Phoenix Flame. Um, I don't, I didn't see one in their graveyard to begin with. I'm sure there was one there, oh, right. and I just didn't <laughs> I, see it. I'd like to hope uh, there was. But it does look like they have, yeah, <laughs> me as well. Like every once in a while, as a five player, you, you shuffle it in, you go to the next round, and you, you just set everything up, and you go, ah, oh, damn it. Uh, but uh, they did correct the pitch, and I, I, was, I was curious because it did say one uh it is two pitch remaining so we do have the phoenix flame coming in for one go again having been uh two two or more draconic chain links prior to it uh likely getting the ember blade follow-up oh no there we go the free yeah uh, phi, phi activation for the second phoenix flame. already on chain link four um oh and right uh ko sorry he's blocking with his equipment oh there's the ember blade okay so i i thought Maybe as he might have also been thinking that Ember Blade was going to come in second, and that's why we saw him only, yeah, uh, act as if he was mm -hmm. pitching too. Um, but yeah, there's the Ember Blade. Uh, he still has go again. He's got one card in hand. You think we get a chain ender or he's arsenaling? Oh, there it is. Oh, we, there's a hell of a chain ender right there. And Snatch coming in for four. It is a break point. It will cry, would require at least a card and equipment uh, to prevent the card draw. Be interesting to see if this is like a. Uh, us if he snaps, I believe he can also go, uh, hit, uh, if this hits snaps, uh, for go again. And I think this hit will be the third in the chain. So oh mask of gosh. three tails would also trigger. So this is a pretty big, uh, play on both ends. Actually, like, I, don't I th think Kale can really afford. I think we had a block this. on the Ember blade. I think that's what the, uh, pack call was. Yes. I think we have a block on the ember blade the rising was blocked i don't think the flame call was at least one oh, you flame just oh you just have through. to hit three not three in a row okay you yeah, yeah oh you don't gosh. have to hit three in a row yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh it's so good well i feel like if ko uh, wanted it does to look out, like he just accepted the damage oh, did he? oh frick so we got the, the draw the things not to block. yeah so no no go again that's interesting. I think I would have maybe I'm I'm a greedy bastard as it is, so maybe that's just me. But the potential to draw two cards, maybe I miss miscounted well, could, and he so wouldn't have gotten it. It can be awkward, right? So like, let's say mm -hmm. you have a blue card and you have a red card like Bear Fangs, right? So if you block with your three block two card, you do nothing with your turn because you couldn't block with a Bear Fangs. It has zero block. 
Uh, and so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you'd end up blocking with your resources, and that's not. Yeah, exactly. There we go. We got a red pulping. It doesn't block, so he yeah, couldn't yeah, block some, with that. Sometimes, <laughs> and if yeah. he if he would have blocked with the blue, then he'd have just had to pass turn anyways. So you gotta you gotta let him get the draw He's from snatch. Bar- the uh, the bark bone. He could have could have get could have did the whole gambling thing. Oh my uh, goodness! And is that too early? It might be. Yeah. Uh, we see Pound Town as the card that gets discarded. So it is a six attack that gets discarded. KO uh, would get will get a might token, and we are committed for more than six. Oh yes, because the previous might token uh, this should be coming for seven dominate, and if it's blocked by less than two cards from hand, uh, it like will have go again. Less than two cards, and, and I yep, feel we like just, we're hitting. I feel like we're hitting, yeah, yeah. and I feel like we're probably getting at least getting that go again. It'd be really yep. surprised if five pulls out a sink below from Arsenal right now. I'm going to lose my mind. I guess it's the control of five. Uh, but it does look like uh, they did take it going from 20 to 13 in one fell swoop. Uh, that The might token making its way onto the board. The tiny, tiny might token. Oh, you know uh, what? Still I, think have a card. I was wrong a second ago because the pulping must have came out of Arsenal. So... That wasn't the question he had on his mind when he didn't block the snatch. Uh, okay. But there goes the t-shirt. He's rolling for it. Oh, he, get a five. he gets two resources. We Holy love to frick. see that. So he should have three. And I wonder if that means... I don't know what that means. Either but he has three floating resources. He can attack with the bone breaker. Yes, I called it Bone Breaker. That is another two cost uh, weapon. Not as good as Ball Breaker. You can't hold it. It's too heavy. KO can't hold it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> he doesn't got that other arm. Can hold swing this. With. There you go. I'm yeah, coming he's in coming in for four. four. Yep, and that hits going down to nine is five, and we have an arsenal in cleaning up here. Going back to five, starts it off with a scar for scar. It is online, so it does have go again. Coming in for four, go again before KO even draws up. <laughs> I do feel like <laughs> Fi has to be in the driver's seat right now. He got to go second, which is exactly what he wants, and mm-hmm. he's pumping out damage faster than the KO. Uh, this is I think he's definitely in the driver's seat right now and we're we're watching that unfold. Yeah, Fi, Fi in these uh these 40 card formats uh like Clash and Commoner are uh, is notorious for being able to just go so much wider than almost every other hero. Uh it does have some vulnerabilities when it comes to defense, but you know they say the best defense is a smash face draconic offense. <laughs> That's the truth, right? And the best on hit is uh, death. So, that's that's right. <laughs> uh, and we're creeping slowly towards that. The three go again. With rising resentment was blocked. Now we're seeing the lava vein loyalty coming in for three. Does have ooh? Does yes, it does have go again. It counts itself in the draconic chain links. Oh, ooh, misordered action was not three draconic sword have been played before five's ability. Ah, because it wasn't for free. It wasn't free should have been ah. uh, costing one uh notably scarfer bad Star players bad players mm. well this isn't the pro tour i think yes, we'll not a draconic so <laughs> yeah all right we'll get we'll, we'll take it easy on them but there comes the ember blade four three go again uh we're getting towards the nitty-gritty here it, we said it was gonna be fast-paced to begin with and uh ko is at four right now Dude, you think he's got another snatch to wrap this turn up with? I guess he could also have lava burst. If he even has, um, well, even salt the wound is common. It is. We get the mask of the oh, three the tails. Mask. Oh, there's three. The draw. Oh he's my gosh. He's looking to finish. He does have a card in yeah, arsenal. This looks over. Now he has another card in hand. How many hands What's cards in hand we got at? for KO? Is that two? Uh, three? No, we have three. Like three. Yeah, we have three cards in hand. He's, so he does he's have some make defensive. A He's gonna make. Oh yeah, he's def- definitely at one. I want to know what happens. So I I'm think excited. in hindsight, on turn one of the fi, I probably would have popped mm-hmm. the heat wave if you knew you were gonna get two. Breaking of them. point. 
So breaking point comes in for five. It does have rupture. Uh, so it is threatening all cards in Arsenal. Oh, oh <laughs> my K- goodness. K-O oh, shows. my goodness. Oh, no. Out of three talk cards, of- he has zero block. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. Oh, 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 talk about worst case scenario there. Oh, see it. oh, oh. Uh, that is uh, that was a really f- quick one. Cow. Uh, this is the uh, the all offense. Uh, ten, there's ten <laughs> minutes of uh, game time total happening there, but we see w- just the the power of Fi and uh, and the newer equipment from around the table, and we also see what happens when you have a bunch of zero blocks in your hand. <laughs> if oh you're yeah, KO. absolutely yeah. So I mean, th- this matchup is going to be, or most aggro matchups like this are going to be. Um, not determined at the coin flip, but going second was definitely a huge boon for Fi. Like KO had a stellar turn one and still wasn't able to claw his way back. Game would have been completely different if he had some blocks in his hand. Uh, it would have been completely different uh, if he was able to block. Yes, it absolutely would. Right, three so. cards, three cards in hand, and he still had two pieces of equipment with block on it, and that Goliath Gauntlet just chilling there. Yeah, it a lot of, back a lot to of lost potential. He could still throw nine damage and threaten lethal. Um, so even with just two cards, like if he blocked yes. for two and had something in Arsenal, so a very close game. I I enjoyed it. Aggro matchups are fun. Hype. We love it here uh, at the Clash Bash. Thanks again for uh, listening uh, to the call. I'm Pat Shaw with Off the Rails TCG. Will. Oh, I'm I'm out. William from the Table Pit. Uh, we have a UPF gameplays on our channel. Uh, thank you all so much for watching.